There is a player on the server who has gained unobtainable potion effects, exploited the plugin, and has even killed everyone on the server. With all of these powers combined, a player known as PikaTM is nothing short of a Minecraft god. So to stop him, a group of players and myself banded together to take all of his power away from him. From killing his teammates to hunting him down, we were going to do everything to make sure Pika can't do anything on the server. And it starts... Now believe it or not, me and my teammate Glosty were actually allied with Pika's team at one point, and we even won our first battle on the server together. After the events of day one, I assumed that we would be allies for a while, until the day of the infight rolled around, when a small team of six wanted our help. Shortly after, I realized that going into this fight would basically be a death sentence. Considering we would be up against the entire server, winning this infight would be nearly impossible, but since every other team on the server practically ignored us, this seemed like our only option. Somehow we were able to snag a few kills until a player named Whatmax had gotten the dragon egg. Thankfully, after a pretty even fight, he had also fallen to our alliance. But the dragon egg was nowhere in sight, and as we were looking for the egg, the worst possible thing had happened. What? Oh, he dropped it through the portal at spawn and Pika got it. This left us all extremely worried. Somehow, while everyone was on what max, he managed to throw the egg through the end portal, leaving it at spawn for anyone to pick up. And as luck would have it, Pika was waiting right at 0-0 for the egg. Now, this was bad for two reasons. Not only did Pika now have the rarest item in his possession, but on this server, the dragon egg allows you to gain unobtainable permanent potion effect. My first thought was to jump through the portal and try and stop Pika from escaping, but my respawn point was at some random base thousands of blocks away from spawn at this point i was headed back to the end portal not sure how i was going to kill pika i mean he could be thousands of blocks away hiding at bedrock guys i found pika i found pika he's on me he's on me well this was pretty bad not only did pika have overpowered potion effects but he also had abilities that gave him immortality since this was not a fight i could take i ran through another portal and managed to quick drop one of his teammates from here i just had to hope that my teammates would arrive before pika went through that portal but once again i I was stuck. How on earth was I going to kill Pika if I had to run for my life every time I saw him? Which was when it hit me. I needed a planned fight. Rather than jumping him, we needed to catch him in the act of jumping one of our teammates. So it was perfect when one of our allies, DU Slime, was found and jumped by Pika's goons. Whoa, look at the glow, look at the glowing. Okay, okay, okay. Next P. Okay, you got it? Yes, I'm up here. I'm gonna mine it. I'm gonna mine it up. I'm with you. On Pika, on Pika. He's Get it out. Yeah, All of the teammates are gone, bro. I don't know where they went. And I don't like it. Okay, so what is even going on? Well, let's just say that this server has custom origins that give you special abilities, like Geo, which Pika had. It allowed him to walk through blocks and temporarily become immortal. Thankfully, we were fighting right next to Lava, and one of our allies was Pyro, which allowed them to use fire to deal extra damage to our opponents. He's low, he's low. Yes! Got him, got him. My ability was Dendro, which lets me poison my enemies and swing around with these vine hook things. I look you could, I look you could. Yeah, just get, just get us out for a fight. Wait, where are you guys? You know me, you know me, show me? Got a hook. Boom. Pick it up. Where is it? I dropped it. But as the fight went on, our resources were draining quickly. Because of Pika's underground nature, he was able to attack faster in deep caves like these. And unfortunately, this meant we had to flee the fight. Oh, uh, on negative me, two the negative two the Oh, there's two wardens, bro. Oh, oh, no. Wardens, wardens on me, wardens on me, I'm dipping, I'm dipping. But this gave us time to gear up. So while my allies grinded fighting materials and extra armor, I ventured out to end cities to collect shulker shells. <laughs> For a while, I didn't really know how I was going to kill Pika, and to be honest, I didn't really worry about it that much. But while I was stuck figuring that out, two new players joined the server with seemingly the same goal as us. If you want to get to Pika, we're gonna have to kill you. It was clear that we shared a common interest, so when they asked to have a meeting with me and Glosty, we didn't hesitate to show up. So the reason why we've called you here today is uh, because we want to discuss of a perhaps maybe a team. So my my and Kiza's goal is to kill Pika and to ruin his reputation because he's been terrorizing the server for way too long. I want to get rid of his dragon egg. I want to make sure that he has no base to live at. 
I want to make sure that he's completely suffering. We were wondering if you guys would be willing to help us. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, same. I kind of want to kill him too. With one of the best players on the server and a robot by our side, killing Pico would definitely be a lot easier. But as of right now, tensions on the server were at an all-time low. So we would need to do something big if we wanted Pika to be angry enough to fight us. Luckily, Whaleable knew the location of Pika's base, so we plan to completely blow it up. Okay. Get, We're uh, here. What do you guys have for boy. breakfast? What or, kind of conversation? Sure. What type of uh, bro? bro. Called the Pika Slayer. Wait, I know Pika this Slayer, base. go. <laughs> oh, that's this is actually a banger base, bro. And after arriving there, we realized how much this guy plays Minecraft. Like this base was completely stacked, so we took the opportunity to gear up a little bit before completely blowing this place to smithereens. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a shulker box full of uh, XP bottles first, and then we yeah, blow this shit up. Bro, where's the smithing table? Right here. Wait. Are you are you blind? I think so. Are you, are you blind? Oh my gosh. But while we were using Pika's villagers, another member logged on to the server and just so happened to be in Pika's base. Sober is down here. Now, if we exploded Pika's base right in front of him, he would easily be able to call us out. So while I had to go, my teammates sort of took him hostage, I guess. I don't really know. Bro. But with Sobers promising to keep quiet, my new teammates proceeded to completely blow up Pika's base. And as expected, he was extremely upset. So upset that he gathered his team to fight us at spawn. That's high. Target time. Willable, right. get him on you. Willable, get him on you. Mid Midnight, Willable, focus Pika. Dude, I'm not. So I'm behind the council. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Water. Go, go, go to the river. Get water. I, I, yeah, I need to get water. water. I need to get water. Pika, I'll be. Pika, I'll be. Where are you guys? Go out after TV1. Just play very Wait, safe. I I'm dead. 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 Everyone else fight. Everyone else. Oh my god, dude. We need, like, all the fight was seemingly going well until we realized that there were just way too many people fighting us for it to just be Pika's team. I'm like 3v1, that was because of another team on the server named the MOL, a team consisting of Moksha, Giraffe Boy, Ty, and Moldzy. Hey, you're kidding yeah, me, you're kidding me. I'm, oh, wait, oh, that's, that's right. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We're getting carried by Gotcha. Let's go. Hey, that's true, that's true. That's true, that's true. Yo, I'm like in a weird spot. I'm about to pop. Hello? I'm like. Fighting Moksha. My first didn't work, I popped. Oh, we got you, got you, got you. Thank you, thank you. I'm on your right, uh, can you take that? I know that. Oh, you have to go AFK, okay, bro. I My think pants are gonna break, someone, bro. I need XP. Someone needs XP. How, how can we get to him right now? And like, we, we okay, I'm low. Here, I'm dead, bro. I'm so dead. My pants are about to break. Yeah. Where are you, oh bro? my god, I keep freezing. I keep I'm freezing, dude. I'm freaking static. I don't have any webs, bro. It's wraps. Yeah, Yo, there's broke. 60 entities that way, by the way. After I died, I started losing hope until one of my allies helped me gear back up, which was when I realized that this wasn't just about me anymore, but it was about all of my friends that Pika had done harm to. I decided to get back on track trying to kill Pika, which was when I realized that if we wanted to get to Pika, we would have to go through the MOL first. But before that, I'm in a race with my friend Quack to 10,000 subscribers, and right now, he's beating me, so please subscribe. Also, if you join my Discord in the description, you can claim your og ticket proving that you were here before 10k but anyways back to killing pika if we wanted to be able to fight off their entire team we would need more help so it was perfect when a player named recalling man promised an iou to whoever could kill him if you're confused an iou is a contract that when signed can force someone to do any task you want them to knowing that we could potentially make him help us kill pika we decided to chase after him wait what good will leaping it's not burning Right here. Yeah, he does. He, he does a lot of damage. I don't have. Down here. Down, down, down that cave. Down here. Love him. Love minus him. twenty. Minus twenty. Uh, he's real leading us somewhere. He's leading. Hey, mostly he's trying to. Jaffy at spawn. Jaffy just spawned. Oh, we found this. This is like this peak is old escape tunnel. I think. Dude, what are you doing? Stop letting me in. Where's my? Um. Uh, wait, guys, where are you? At? I want to see the spawn. Move back, back up, back up, back up. No, mm. bro, he's pulling me back. Bro, I didn't how do I hit you? That's funny. Yo, try leading him up. Hey, try leading him up. You he just dropped him first move. See him, I see him. Mine, mine, 50, mine, 50, mine, 50. Get down here, get down here, get down here. He's popped him, I popped him, I popped him. Popped? He's dead, he's dead here. So dead. Look at me, by the way, I have to go. 
Where bro? I'm in the one by one. I got him! Oh my gosh. Nice. After he died, the IOU went to our teammate Keys, but not before Sift got one as well in a different battle. With an extra teammate on our side, we felt confident enough to go to spawn and wait for Pika's team, but not without an ace up our sleeve. See, there was a beacon at the center of spawn, and if we were able to change the effect to resistance 2, we could make Pika's strength 2 completely useless and just break everyone's armor. So after changing the beacon effects, we waited and waited until we thought for sure that pico wasn't coming to spawn that was until i saw an invisible person hiding on top of a tower and sure enough no, i'm with pico I'm, i see pico pico is here bro pico, is here. pico was at spawn and we had him right where we wanted him this might be bro, over where are you where are you oh, wait Mark, it, is it is pico it is pico, it is pico. It is pico. It is. Yeah, i'm ready oh, wait wait pop, pop. wait wait, wait. I I that. okay I'm yes sure. yes help 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 Go 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 Why do you have to take- Ask me now, I'm asking. If I dip, they're gonna go for you guys, so I'm gonna wait for you guys to go up first. I'm just down, I'm just down. Look, I'm not trying to- Mox is dead. It's only getting- No, but we- Bro, we used it, like what? We were using it in water. Unfortunately, another player had stolen the beacon, and as I traveled through the nether, I saw the entire MOL right there. Now, I knew this was a fight we couldn't take. I tried to distance myself as much as possible until I saw Giraffe Boy in a shulker box and did what I do best. I just stole, I, I just stole a shulker. I just stole Giraffe's full shulker. I popped Mata. What am I fighting, bro? Pika's here, bro. Pika's here. Pika's here. What? Pika's uh, here. Okay, come through, come through. <laughs> I had barely escaped with my life, and once I met up with Shinovi, we spotted one of our enemies in the nether, which sparked another fight that we had to run from. With me barely escaping both times, I realized that normally fighting to kill Pika would not work. I would have to make a trap so effective that it would kill Pika before he even realizes. So I hopped on the test server to test different traps with some of my allies. Oh, um, I, I think it might have ran out. And I'm already dead, bro. Just walk up to the portal, eat a gap. Survival. What the? Oh my god. Oh my what? god. Oh, bro. Oh, I popped. <laughs> yeah, I explained it to everyone. You're a bot. Does an anyone hour. know the uh, choo choo train trap? Does what? anyone know what that is? What the f is a <laughs> choo choo train trap? I knew they gave. But, like, it was the wrong tree. And it didn't. Oh no, it was. It just didn't work. Eventually, I settled on an idea that relied on Pika chasing me, thinking I'm low. I think in this situation, I would like. I'll switch to haste, right? <coughs> and... You took okay. my- Okay! That was like an insecure- With the trap proving to be effective, I logged onto the server to start grinding. But when I tried to go back to my base- Oh, they're, they're we're gonna jump, we're gonna jump! My allies were being jumped at spawn by some of Pika's teammates. Not only that, but- We're going back to the other sword, he's the other sword, he's the other sword. What? They were using netherite swords, an item banned on this server. Knowing that my teammates were in grave danger, I needed to help them fight off these rule breakers. And to retaliate, I used two totems. Alright, yeah, sure, let's, let's do this, bro. Oh, he's a, he's a gold farm. Well, he's a gold farm. Well, he's a gold farm. Oh, no, no, no. He, he, it's gonna take him so long. Double top, double top, double dolphin, help. So many crits, bro. On Sharu. Okay. Like, they just do all your health, bro. I pop Sharu, I pop Sharu. Nice. 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 Get the nether, get the nether, I got the sword, I got the sword. I got the sword. Nice, nice, nice. I'm on Giraffe. Yo, stick recalling. He has another netherite sword. Yeah. Hard target recalling. Everyone, hard target recalling. Everyone's panicking. It's wrapped, bro. Nice! Oh my god! Thankfully, we were able to put a stop to these players before it got out of hand, but the reality quickly set in that killing Pika would be a lot harder than we thought. I mean, even with everyone on him, he still managed to escape. So, if we wanted to kill Pika and take his overpowered item, we would need overpowered items of our own. You see, in exactly one hour, a guest will log on with fully maxed netherite armor and the only shield on the server. But what makes this shield so special is that not only does it grant its wielder immunity to fire, but it also has an ability that knocks everyone around you away from you. I knew that our alliance needed to obtain the shield, but if it's just one player, then how hard could it be? Well, enter Mugum, an extremely good PvPer known for dominating Minecraft SMPs. Not only is he the wielder of the shield, but he's being protected by none other than Pika's team. Fighting against the two most overpowered items on the server wasn't going to be easy, but we had to persevere. Oh! I pulled him back. Are we jumping him? 
Are yeah, I'm there. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, uh, shoot. I can't even. Oh, got one hit in. Let's go. Yes. Oh, wow. Wait, is he prop four? Yeah, you better. Yeah, hey, why am I going so high? Uh, go see, go see, go see. I'll, uh, I cannot even fight him, bro. I can't. Like, he did all my half health in one hit. Hey, you should give him glowing. Like, there's a there's a reason for it. Nice. Stay on it. Stay on Stay on me, bro. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Help! 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 My dude, my keyboard unplugged. My keyboard unplugged. Help! My keyboard, dude. Unfortunately, our team coordination was not good at all. Our enemies were doing three hearts of damage per hit, and we started dropping like flies. No, no, I'm dead. Yes. With practically no one left to fight, I had to flee, and we had no idea what we were going to do next. Thankfully, the MOL agreed to ally with us this once, since they also wanted the shield. With new allies, we formulated a plan where we would all run from a fight at the same time, leaving Moksha to lead Mugum straight into a cart trap. With this new plan in mind, we first had to gear up our teammates that died. Huh? Oh, I just three, two, one. Oh, I actually got it! Sure, last priority. Yo! No, no. <laughs> now with plenty of gear, we all headed to Oshwat's base and waited for Pika's team to arrive. Pika's hey, team! Hey, Masha, Masha, Masha! I don't have anything. Listen to Masha, listen to Masha. Oh, wow, everyone's here. Can't lose it instantly. Yeah, what? Dolphin, please, Dolphin, please run. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. We need, we need them on Moksha. Oh, he fucked her. Oh my god, I fucked her. Oh, no! Moksha's in the water. Oh, it's going, it's going. That's just static already. Yeah, he's, he's gonna keep going, so you can still stick uh, stick. You want my key shot? Bro, I, I died three okay, times. Okay, so, let's say, um, okay. Uh, yeah, no, Aqua got out. The trap was a complete success, and luckily, Oshawa was able to pick up the shield. With our team's morale at an all-time high, we thought nothing could go wrong from here, but I figured it was probably time to switch elements, since Dindra was getting kind of boring. And after crafting a few traitors, I landed on Ethereo, one of the deadliest elements of them all. My new ability allowed me to dash through the air and shoot laser beams that do insane damage. With this new element, I started gearing up for the next overpowered item that would be released. This Saturday, 30 guests will be joining the server along with a sword being released called the Thunderbolt, which strikes lightning that stuns players every few hits. And once everyone had logged on and geared up, the coordinates were released. Oh, I have one potion, this guy. Oh, oh, no. oh. I'm basically out of the coordinates now. Luckily, Oshawa had once again obtained the item and kept it away from our enemies. Unfortunately though, the Thunderbolt was completely useless at the moment. Essentially, every few days, a shard would be released and the cords would be announced, with each shard being able to power the sword's abilities. For now, all it is is just another sword but it's better than nothing at this point we had been pushed around by different teams and we were itching to fight with our new items and although Oshawa wasn't with us I just found Pika's closest teammate in the nether so without thinking I attack God. I dropped molds in there. Crocs, get here oh who's this is this they're calling this is they're calling Mozi's dead just uh he's low we call him man's low we call him man's low he's so low oh my gosh bro he has the shield and the thunderbolt in the webs he's dead pop Wait, no wait, what? No, wait, no, no way. Like, <laughs> it's fake, it's fake. Although they had gotten away, we decided to go to spawn, and sure enough, go chill, chill, chill. I don't know, we're just gonna fight. They're on me, bro. Although this looked bad, Oshawa arrived shortly after and helped us fight off our enemies. Unfortunately, I had to go mid fight, but not before we made everybody else run. And the next day, a shard was being released, so our alliance got ready for the coordinates to drop. By eight. Oh, negative five, three, one, eight. Oh, okay. my oh, God. Okay.
However, it seemed like luck was not on our side, because out of everyone who could have gotten the shard, Pika got it. We decided to jump Pika's team to hopefully obtain the shard, but this would be a massive mistake. Harmony- okay, Harmony's a free drop. What? Oh, hell no. Get out of the cops, get out of the Get out of that, get out of that. I'm on your team. Me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Yo, I need help on Pika, guys. Alright, alright, alright. I'm about to- I'm fighting in Electro, it's definitely recalling. Yo, I- I was critting out looking in- Wait, that's me, that's oh. me, that's me, that's oh, me. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, 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 wait, wait. How do I pop, how do I pop, how do I pop? The ambush quickly turned into a rescue operation. Our top priority was to get Ashwat out alive with the items, while me and Sif distracted Pika. Uh, uh, Ashwat goes to the portal. Go, 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 go. Oh, he popped! Oh, he turtle mastered! Okay. We had popped Pika's totem. To put this into perspective, we haven't been able to even pop his totem for months now. And seeing Pika on the ropes like that made us very cocky. Nice, nice, oh, nice, nice! Let's go! Wait, 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 we have this! I was too blind to realize how dumb taking this fight would be. Quickly, Oshawa was put into a bad situation, with nearly the entire enemy team hunting him down, and me being stuck in a fight that I shouldn't have even started in the first place. Unfortunately, their team coordination was just unmatched, which led to... Oshawa had just lost the most overpowered items on the server, giving Pika the Thunderbolt and Moksha the shield. This demotivated us a lot. With a team bigger than ours holding the three most powerful items on the server, every fight ended up forcing us to run or be killed. Something had to change. We couldn't let Pika terrorize the server any longer. Luckily, the second shard would be dropping soon, and if we could prevent Pika from obtaining it, we would not only have leverage over him, but also prevent him from fully charging the sword. Thankfully, I had an idea on how I could get there faster. When the coordinates get released, I would get there as fast as possible, but in the nether. And since 8 blocks in the overworld is equal to 1 block in the nether, I could get there much faster. Pairing this with my new dashing abilities and going on the nether roof, I would likely be the first person to get the shard. But when I arrived to the nether roof, it seemed like I wasn't the only one with this idea. Oh, speaker, speaker, that's Pika, that's Pika, Pika's here too. All I could do at this point was hope that I could be the first to get the shard. No, no, because he's uh, oh, six, out of it. Oh, okay. But as I traveled, one of our enemies, Giraffe Boy, had obtained the second shard. And when I arrived, no one was there. While I was stuck looking around the island, I spotted Moksha, a significantly less powerful player than Pika who had also acquired an important item. If I was able to kill him here, I would be able to retrieve one of the OP items for our team. Fight Moksha. Yeah, actually, yeah, keep him on, you're Geo, you're, you're right. going to water. But as I kept fighting, Pika eventually showed up. Luckily, I was able to talk my way out of the situation without losing many resources. But now, Giraffe was most likely going to hand Pika the second shark. To try and prevent this, we traveled to Moksha's base to fight them. As expected, we had lost the battle, and we didn't know what to do from here. No matter what we tried, Pika's team always prevailed. Feeling demotivated, we went to the nether, where we found Sheru, one of Pika's allies. Originally, we were just going Going to kill him, but what he said made me reconsider. We both have similar goals. I mean, we're calling man. We're calling man wants the shield. I I don't really particularly want the sword. I just want to pick up his power. Actually, yes, bro. Wait, why have you been I'm like helping him this entire time then? Bro, he crit me once and it did three hearts. Bro. Oh, my oh my god. god. I'm kind of in a good position with Moksha right now, so I don't think we're gonna betray them. But me and we're calling man, we're gonna we're gonna go meet up with you guys. But how do we know he can Would trust you, guys, you? How? Yeah, because, like, we've been enemies for a while. Like, ever since the end fight, I'm pretty sure. After everything we had been through, Sheru apparently wanted to join our team. We didn't trust him at all, but he even offered to screen share all of the group chats he was in with them. We we discussed a lot of it, and we, we what we wanted to do. The next mm -hmm. shard, we're gonna let you guys get it. Everyone except for Pika's team is going to try not to get it so that you guys get it, right? Knowing that we could use a double agent, we decided to take Sheru under our wing. Oh. With Sheru now on our alliance, we were confident enough to go for the third shard. This time, however, it was in the nether, not the overworld. Once I finally got there, a player named Starborn Nebula had the shard. Nebula was part of Pika's alliance, so we needed to kill her before Pika could get there. Spot, spot. 
Oh, 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 oh. Luckily, I had gotten the kill and received the shard. Now all that was left to do was to get out alive. Oh no 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 no! Wait why are we dropping? Should we just leave? We shouldn't even be here, bro. Yeah, nah, no, no, only. No. What the? I'm back here. Hello? I'm back in the Nether. Wait. Yo, we're actually the teleporters, bro. After running for a while, we were getting tired of this cycle. We would get an item, try to kill Pika, and eventually fail. This needed to end, so we scheduled a final fight against Pika's team for all of the marbles. And for the days leading up to the fight, we geared up like there was no tomorrow. And while I was traveling in the nether, Sheru asked me to help him farm Nebula. But as I got there, a fight had broken out. Yeah, I don't know. Why are you fighting this? Yo. That's sex is dead. Okay. Bro, what? Hey, 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 dude, get the drafty! Get the drafty, get the drafty! Get the drafty, get the drafty! out. I'm sorry, I'm gonna... Stick him, bro, without a totem, he's bro. Harmony's here. Is Harmony with us? No, no, he's no, not with no, us. No, no. Just keep it. Pika's here, Pika's here, Pika's here! Pika's here. Pika's here. Pika's here. Pika's here. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, help me. Oh, Pika's on me, Pika's on me. I'm in a bass. Yo, help me, bro! Get me out of here! I'm at 1773. Oh, I got out! I got out! I got out! I need to heal my armor. No, I got out of the like, little hole, bro. Make it an escape what? passage. Uh, and the, uh, overworld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Place. Yeah, yeah. It's. it's um, the the tunnel looks like a bunch of nether. I'm digging out. Oh, I popped. I popped. I popped. I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm putting water. I'm putting water at the bottom. I see it! Yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. I had only barely escaped, and it was all thanks to Oshawa. With this event happening, I decided to just lay low and hang out with my teammates for the remaining time we had left until the massive fight. Finally, I had arrived at the location that my teammates were at. Bro, if we win this fight, we all have to tap in chat hero of the village. <laughs> The village. This helped me realize that even though we were always overshadowed by Pika's team, we could still make do with what we had and have a good time. Eventually though, the fun ended and things started going downhill. It's crazy how we leaked our plan when the mole was in the VC. But who's the mole, bro? Wait, there's no way. There's actually no so way. So you're lying. Uh, no I mean, way. You're lying. My totem. you're lying, bro. There's no way, right? He's trolling. He's trolling, right? 50? Yeah, so like five people claimed to betray. Only one guy actually did. And then I spent the rest of my night hunting two people down and they just got away. Like I, The next day finally rolled around and we were more ready than ever to kill Pika. As we arrived at the location, we knew that we needed to win this fight or else everything we've done so far would have been for nothing. Let's go, yeah. right, everyone, watch it, watch it, watch it. What? I, I told you. All right, all right. Uh, uh, let's lay off of we're collecting. I'm lagging. I'm lagging, guys. I'm lagging. Asuma, where are you? Asuma, Asuma. Oh my god, I popped, I popped, I popped, I popped. Guys, guys, guys. What? Bro. Oh, bro. I need help, I need help. I'm, I'm popped, I'm popped. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Drew, be diesel. Drew, you have three people on you. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's fine, fine, it's fine. fine. Oh, I popped, no. I popped, I popped, I popped. Help, help, help. 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 Yeah, yeah, I popped, 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 this was probably our lowest point yet. We all dropped like flies, leaving our whole alliance under geared. Pika was able to fully charge the Thunderbolt since me and Oshwat died with the last shards on us, and Pika's reign of terror would continue forever. One of the teams that we were allied with left the alliance after talking with Pika to lock the dragon egg away, ending the entire conflict with Pika not dying once. But this was not how it was going to end. Believe it or not, this is the third time in Brawl SMP history that Pika has gotten out of a conflict conflict scot free and i still wanted to make him pay i wanted to teach him that everything he's done to us will come back to him and with pika no longer having the dragon egg to deal insane damage or run away super fast we had him right where we wanted him
Our plan starts with giving a player named That Midnight the Scorching Shield, and with me joining a new team with some of the best players on the server, we knew that this wouldn't be too hard. The shield was currently in Moksha's hands, so me and my teammate Soren went to spawn, hoping that Moksha would give us the fight we wanted. Okay, is that Maksha? Oh my lordy, it's <laughs> Maksha. <laughs> Sure. Why is the names SX jumping me by shield? SX and Moksha? Wait, y'all are fighting? Wait, yes. they're wait, no, wait, 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 are you team with Moksha? Thorin, do you need help? We're 2v2, we're 2v2. It's Thorin and W versus SX. Dolphin, hello? Hi. Oh, Ma Moksha has a shield there. Dolphin, can you hear me? It's randomly. They, ra they yeah, jumped yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, they jumped us. Yeah, SX just started putting me out. Yeah, I actually uh -huh, I was, the XP. I was... Uh, Max out. Pop, pop, name. Nice. I pop Essex. Pop Essex. Oh, Watch out. You good? Yeah. <laughs> got him, got him, got him! He just got Apple, bro. Watch that out. That was water. I think, I think Ocelot's gonna go give you gems. He's gonna die, you're gonna let him he's die. He's getting a portal, he's getting a portal. There's no way. He's here, he's here, he's here. How does that help? How does that help? He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Right Kill him. Let's go, let's go. Does he have a shield? But did he have the shield? Who picked no, up the didn't. shield? We were so close to obtaining the shield, but he had thrown it through another portal for his teammate Ty to pick up. Although this was demotivating, this was not the end for us. He ended up selling the shield to a player named Recalling Man, who is much better at PvP than Moksha or Ty, but this was actually what I wanted. Considering Recalling Man has wanted this shield for so long, I knew he would get cocky with it in his hands. I tested this theory by challenging him to a 2v1, me and Sharu versus him, and since he was better than both of us at PvP, I knew he would accept without a doubt. When he did, my strategy was to stay close to Shiru and not let Recalling Man kill him. Because if he did, then I would most likely lose the duel. Okay, alright, cl crouch, crouch, crouch. Got his water. Oh, that was close. Two hearts. He's definitely gonna target you, so make sure you have to play the last game yeah, I do, I do. He's low, he's low. Oh That's my cool. god. Oh, get him! I popped Turtle Monster. Okay, did he get it? Oh, he did, he's going fast. I have the freaking infuse pack on so I can't see potion effects. Oh my gosh. Pop the place! Nice. Oh, that was close. That was water. Oh, wait, what did I do? Dude. What did I do? On. Let me get ground. Shield. Okay, I turn on mastered. That's my locker armor looking. It's good. It's like all of it's a little bit above yellow. I'm not. I'm not seeing him go low a lot. A lot now. Watch out! Oh, that was close. He's low. He's low. He's low. Go, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Where's the shield? Where's the shield? Where's the shield? 
Nice. We can I got hold the shield. It. I got the shield. I got it. I got it. I was able to obtain the scorching shield and pass it on to Midnight. We are now a huge step in the right direction, but Pika knew that Midnight could easily take him with a shield. So we needed to outsmart Pika once and for all. Immediately, I got back to testing traps. And after a while, I landed on one that allowed me to end this whole conflict where it all started. Basically, I would arrange a meeting with Pika, visiting all the spots where we were once allied and the spot where Pika first jumped me. My goal was to get him to let his guard down and when he goes through the nether portal shiru will be waiting patiently ready to flick a lever that would launch pika into the end portal from there pika would be encased in a massive obsidian box with walls thick enough to prevent him from chorus fruiting out and after telling my teammates about the plan i went to the stronghold to set up the trap luckily the overworld part was very easy to set up and all i needed to do now was mine the obsidian Yeah, this is really boring. Though so I called up my teammate Midnight to help out with the trap and hopefully make things more fun. It blinks fun. too. Look at it. Look at it. It blinks too. Ready? <laughs> But after a few hours of just mining obsidian, I realized the true magnitude of this trap. Let me check how much obby we need. Okay, so we need 20,000 obsidian. I needed to collect roughly 12 shulker boxes of obsidian in one day. Yeah, that's just not happening. So in hopes of figuring something out, I tried testing alternative methods of blocking chorus fruit. Alright, so what if I made it like four thick and then I just completely cover it in lava will people still be able to chorus out is my question let's find out i guess you can't. It turns out all I needed was lava and to break a few blocks. So I hopped back onto the actual server to finish the trap. A little while in, I had to go eat dinner, but luckily my teammates were able to finish up the trap. Now all that's left to do is ask Pika to log on and meet up at spawn. I'm not home. So Pika kind of couldn't log on right now. So we were just doing anything we could to pass the time at this point. Five large fries. Yeah. Eventually, Pika was able to hop on the next day. So I gave my team a rundown on what was going to happen and readied myself. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to talk to Pika at spawn. Hello? Yeah. And then stage my Discord crashing so that we have to talk in voice chat. Okay, wait, do you like know at all what this is about? Hello? Hello? Yo, my like... I don't even know, my Discord just crashed on my computer and it's not opening. Meaning I can't screen share any nether portals or anything like that. As I'm walking in the nether, I'm, I'm gonna type like a code word in chat, which is when Sheru logs in, probably ask some like random question just to make it seem less suspicious. And then I'm gonna show Pika all the areas that we've been allied at. Do you remember where uh, me and Glosty went through a portal running from Moksha's team? We had our first fight together against like Moksha and Ty and we won that. And yeah. And then I'm going to show the location that he jumped me at. And from there, I think you guys know what to do. You remember this bridge? You remember mm -hmm. what happened at this bridge? There's like a fight in that portal. Yep. You, you were running down this bridge. I remember you were running down this bridge and you started critting me out. I don't care if you like want me to go through first, you to go through first, turtle master, whatever. But this was where all of our conflict started. And this is where it's going to end. Go, 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 go. Don't let him get out. He's dead. Kill him. Kill him. Dude, if, he, if he blocks up, we're gonna need it. Like someone. I'm no. taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. He's so dead. What? He popped. He popped. He popped. Night. 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 I'm seeing all these in power. Nice. 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 He's, He's so dead. Up. He's so he dead. Got he, got he got apple. He got apple twice. 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 His armor is like on the ropes. He's panicking. He's panicking. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! Let's go! Get out! Get out! Get out! The dragon's dead. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna turtle just in case. My game froze. I'm going through. I'm here. We're at tree spawn. Pika was finally dead. To say we were overjoyed was an understatement. We had just spent the last five months killing, dying, grinding, and testing traps just to ruin a supposedly immortal player's reputation. Dude, I'm so glad that worked, bro. Pika had been left with nothing, and I had gotten my hands on the Thunderbolt. We were extremely happy that it was finally over, and I knew that there was only one place to celebrate. One place that if I never went there, this probably would have never happened.